good boy. Remember that when I film the intro? Can you show everyone how you're going all your hair all back? Aww. Okay, you can hang out on my lap. Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I'm so excited to finally be back. I have missed you guys so much. I was in LA last weekend and our trip got cut a little bit short because of the crazy weather that we've had here on the East Coast. We were originally supposed to stay till Sunday and then with the snow and everything we ended up changing our flight to Friday morning. So we got home Friday, Brett was sick Saturday and Sunday and then I guess I caught whatever he had and I was sick Monday and yesterday. So finally back today and I've seen a ton of people requesting some Valentine's Day looks. So I figured instead of just doing one, I'm going to show you guys two different options. That way, if you don't like the first one, hopefully you guys will like the second one. This year for Valentine's Day, I'm actually going to be on a cruise with my entire family. So I'm not sure which look I'm going to do yet. I guess it depends on what outfit I'm going to wear. But I really, really love how this one turned out. It was super, super simple. And I think it looks a little bit more glam than expected. This was kind of my more simple look. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to see how I got these two Valentine's Day makeup looks, please keep watching. To start off this look, I'm picking up this light pink shimmer shade from my Carly Bible palette. I'm applying this all over my lid. Before I started this look, I did do my full face routine, so I do have concealer on my eyes, which is gonna double as an eyeshadow base. Next up, I'm picking up this lighter mauve shade from my palette as well, and I'm applying that very lightly into the crease. Picking up the eyeshadow shade in the color Metallic Pixie Dust by Stella. I'm then applying that all over my eyelid right on top of that light pink shade to give it a really pretty shimmery bright look. Using the light pink highlighter shade from my palette, I'm then applying that right underneath my brows to highlight. For lashes, I'm using the Wispies by Ardell. I wanted to keep this look pretty natural. I wasn't going to do an eyeliner, but then when I applied the lashes, it looked a little silly. So after lashes, I am using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. With that same light mauve color and a pencil brush, I'm blending that on my lower lash line. To highlight the bridge of my nose, I'm using that same pink color that I used on my eyelids. To bronze up my face, I'm using the Face Glow in Bronze by Girl Actic. Now this has like a shimmer to it, so you don't want to do too much. Because I don't want my face too shiny, I'm just going to go in with this BH Diva Matte Bronzer. For cheeks, I'm using this blush by Kardashian Beauty. I believe it's number 514. I picked this one up at Ulta. First time trying it, so we'll see, but it's like the perfect pink color. So it's definitely not that pigmented. You need to keep layering it, but it's okay because we don't want it to be too, too dark anyway. Next, I'm gonna be highlighting my Cupid's bow. And then right here, even though some of you think it looks like snot, I personally like it for now. We'll see. Maybe I'll hate it in like a month, but I'm just putting a little bit right here. To finish off this look, I am using Westy Lip Liner by ColourPop. So now for this lip color, feel free to use whatever you're comfortable with. I personally wanted to use like a light pink gloss, but... I don't really like how glosses look on me. So I'm gonna do the liquid matte lipstick as usual. I'm using the color Blush by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Just a little bit. First, I'm picking up this nude shade from my Carly Bible palette. I'm applying this all over my eyelid. With this black pencil from ColourPop, I'm just applying that on the outer V of my eye, working where my eyeliner was. 
Next, grabbing this black color from the Makeup by Camilla palette. I'm applying that right over where I had just done that black. Then I'm just grabbing something with a flat edge to make sure that the line is perfect. And that way I don't get any fallout on my face. With the same palette, I'm picking up this dark brown shade. And I'm just blending it into the black. With my blending brush in this orange shade, I'm blending that above the brown. I'm grabbing a little bit of that dark brown again. And I'm just going to keep blending until it looks good. For lashes, I'm using Lily Lashes in Miami. I have a coupon code which I will list below for you guys. While I'm waiting for the eyelash glue to dry a little bit, I'm picking up that dark brown shade from the same Sigma palette and I'm applying it underneath my eyes. I'm picking up that orangey brown and I'm applying it in the inner part as well. For blush, I'm going to mix in a little bit of Shimmering Peach by Tarte, putting that over the pink that I already have. I don't know whether to do nude or red. Look at these nails. So I'm going to do red lips, even though I probably wouldn't wear red lips on Valentine's Day. So originally the thought was I was going to do like a ombre, like dark to lighter red lip. But I was thinking about what I would really do for Valentine's Day and as much as I love a good red lip, I feel like Valentine's Day is just not the day to wear it unless you don't really care and you just want to wear it anyway, go right ahead. But I feel like for me, I know I'm going to be kissing Brett, so I don't want to have to reapply it a million times. So I'm just going to do a nice nude because can't go wrong with a good nude. And below I will list the red lip combo that I'm going to use for this video. I'm using Button Lip Liner by ColourPop. And then I'm using Pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed both of these looks and can incorporate them into your own routine for Valentine's Day or for just a regular occasion. Doesn't really matter. but. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be filming again this week, so please comment below and let me know what you guys want to see. I can't wait to be back to my normal filming schedule. I know I keep saying that, but I feel like no matter how many hours I spend putting stuff away, there's just still so much more to do. So thank you guys so much for being patient with me. I'm happy you guys didn't forget about me. I love you all so much, and until next time, I will see you guys later.